О, Боже, мы реально как смотрим, уже ужасно. Там надо было быть там, как ты сделаешь. Мне кажется, с этим ничего О. нет. Подожди, подожди, сейчас вспомни, пока я не снимаю, а, демонстрацию экрана. Я могу делать. Угу. Все, открытие на литре. Так, ну давай сейчас еще минуту начнем. Так, у нас должно быть 6 человек. Раз, два, три, четыре. Еще двое. Опасывает. А Дарья, получается, Элиф это имя. Я вообще не знаю, что Элиф это. А, Дарья. А, это Дарья. Это Дарья. Это кто? Хаджи. А где он? А, Хаджи, Корея. А Куан и Фон это не знаю. Оба нас это произошло. Ну, все было занято примерно на середину дня. Давайте себе делаем пометку, что 35 лучше не проверить. Ну, все, на них можно уже закупать. Ну, так, подождите еще раз. А, Ир, в какой момент ты врываешься и знакомишься с ними? А все есть лайк? Он сам последний. Он сам последний. Нет, 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 нет. Да. Можно сейчас? Мы можем такая интересная. Подожди, так, по-английски твой отдел как называется? Я же не спит. Она сама скажет. Ну, во-первых, подождите, мы должны всех подождать. В любом случае, сейчас мы начнем запускать. Угу. Да, все, да, запускаем. Да. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hi everyone. Hi. I hope you can hear us and also see us. Please let us know if uh, everything is fine. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, we will start our presentation. Just uh, one second, we'll share our... Um, Maybe not. We introduce Irene while we have the camera. Yeah, okay, so uh, firstly, please let us know, uh, let us uh, introduce ourselves. So, uh, my name is Dasha, I'm the head of the Student Mobility Office. Uh, this is uh, Valeria, I'm the incoming coordinator. And uh, my name is Irene, I'm from the Center for International Student Support. Yeah, so hi everyone. Uh, and now we can start our presentation. Uh, Okay, so uh, today we will discuss, uh, um, first of all, one more time, uh, this is our mobility team, uh, we will send you this presentation, so you will have all the emails and also links uh, to different uh, e-platforms, so let's uh, have a look at our agenda, so today we will discuss about e-resources uh, of HEC University, uh, we'll speak about the course selection, there are two periods of them. Uh, also about the academic methods, migration procedures, um, uh, medical insurance uh, and uh, bank cards, and also about budget system. So, uh, mostly all... Um, one second. Uh, mostly all answers you can find on our website. Uh, we are sure that you have already uh, visited it. It's uh, spb.hc.ru. I owe semester, semester at HC. So here you can find the information about the pre-arrival procedures, arrival, uh, about studies, and about departure. Um, yes, please read carefully all information, especially about registration, visa extension, uh, there is a tour, um, tour transfer guide um, about uh, checking into the dormitory, 
Uh, there is a lot of important information, so please read it carefully. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Um, okay. uh -huh. So, uh, why we have decided to have this webinar? Because uh, tomorrow the uh, post campaign will start, and uh, um, it's really important to understand uh, uh, about the e resources uh, of HEC. Uh, so, uh, let's start uh, uh, with the uh, audio doesn't turn on. No, no it works. It works. Can you hear us? I can. Uh, I guess not everyone. It works. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Great. So, uh, the very first uh, e resource of HEC is your corporate email. Uh, uh, right now, we use uh, Yandex platform. Uh, on this slide, you can find the link uh, to your uh, mail. And we have a question. Have you received uh, your credentials? Have you received uh, uh, your login and password for the university email? Uh, if you haven't received it, please let us know. Uh, it's really important because uh, you will use uh, this uh, mailbox. So please let us know. And uh, mostly all these credentials you will use for other e-resources of HEC. Uh, so yeah. let us know. Uh, also, it's very important to have uh, all correspondence uh, uh, through this uh, mailbox from HEC email address. Uh, because all the announcements about the migration procedures, visa, um, uh, it will you will get it uh, on your uh, corporate uh, HEC email address. Yes, uh -huh. and once again, have you received your credentials? Because it was automatically generated, and uh, it's important to have it now because tomorrow uh, the course campaign will start, and you will have to have your login and password to do that. I'm just checking in my emails. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we will ask that later, maybe in Telegram chat. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, okay, one second. Mm -hmm. So another source of HC is LMS. Uh, so uh, you will need this um, to create your lectures. Uh, it's called uh, Learning Management System. Uh, login and password is the same like from your corporate email, so that's why it's crucial to have it. Um, so mostly uh, LMS will be only for the grading of your lectures. Uh, the most important e-resource uh, is Smart LMS. Uh, here uh, you will contact your lectures, see your courses, grades, materials, uh, links uh, for the classes if it's an online class. And it's also the same login and password uh, are like from your corporate email. Um, yeah. It's the main platform for your studies, for your courses, grades, everything. So, uh, yes, please check your maybe spam box in your email uh, box because without your corporate email address and password, there is no way you can uh, log in to every. Um, E resource we have. Yes. Um, so um, on, yeah. on the slide, you can see uh, just uh, interface. interface. Yes, what you have inside of this platform. Yes. So messages, you can contact your uh, lecturers. You have courses, grades, calendar. Uh, you can see your progress, also assignments and course materials. Mm. Yeah, yes, that's all. So another platform is Rules and HEC app. So uh, you use Rules to check your timetable. Uh, this is the difficult way how to check the timetable. So here you need to put your name and uh, find the date which you need 
The easiest way is just install the HEC app. It's really um, more, it's a really easier oh. and yes, more comfortable for you. Yeah, and if smart LMS, LMS, uh, other systems, they are really systems. Uh, you have to have login and password. Uh, Rus is just a website. You can open it from everywhere and just uh, insert your name and that's all. You don't need login and password. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy. Okay. Uh, next one. So uh, let's sum it up. Firstly, you will have your mailbox, of course. Uh, for this, uh, you need to get your credentials, uh, which are really crucial. Please check your spam folders. Secondly, uh, you will have um, LMS. Uh, after each module, you will need uh, to grade your lectures, and this is also very crucial and obligatory for all students. Uh, thirdly, you will have Smart LMS. Smart LMS is the most important platform for you, uh, where you will find everything, materials, um, uh, links to, to the lectures and so on. Uh, then, as for your timetable, you can install HEC app or just check it in Rus. So, this is mostly about the, this is all uh, about the e uh, resources for HEC. Uh, now, let's start um, uh, speaking about the course selection. So, there are two periods of course selection, and uh, as we have mentioned, tomorrow we'll start the first wave of it. So uh, there will be three waves of course selection. Uh, the first one will start tomorrow. And uh, on the slide, you can find the other dates. So the first wave, uh, you select the courses. Uh, you will need to check uh, the timetable um, uh, in order to uh, exclude the possibility uh, of different overlaps of your courses. Uh, the second wave, um, uh, you will find that maybe some courses are not approved uh, by the study offices, and this is normal because um, study offices, uh, uh, in the gap between of the first wave and the second wave, uh, they will check uh, if uh, they have enough students for the course uh, to launch it. So uh, if you, if during the second wave, you will find out that um, uh, your uh, your uh, chosen course was declined, so you can uh, make another choice and choose another course. And then uh, during the third wave, uh, you will uh, just uh, choose your time slot and the group uh, which you need for yourself. So, and all this course campaign uh, is only about the English courses. Uh, if you want to um, check um, and choose the Russian courses, you need to um, uh, look at our course catalog and send us uh, the link from the course catalog and we will add uh, these courses uh, manually but it's only about the russian courses uh, also please keep us updated about your choice uh, it's also very crucial and important um, and what is more important is that um, uh, this course selection is about the first come first of basis so we really advise you to, uh, to start to check your and choose courses uh, at the very beginning. For example, tomorrow it will start at 10.50 uh, a.m. Uh, Moscow time. So uh, we are asking you um, to, uh, to start doing it at this time because uh, there are the number of slots of spots are really limited and uh, if you want to choose what you want, uh, it's better to, to do it from the very beginning. Uh, this course campaign uh, on the top of the slide, you can find the link. One more time, we'll send you this presentation. So in order to, uh, to choose the courses, you need to follow this um, link. And then put your credentials from the um, HEC corporate email. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, there is an interface, a uh, screenshot of the interface. On the left is our courses of St. Petersburg campus. Um, mainly, everything is uh, offline. So, this is your icon to choose your courses. And, of course, uh, theoretically, you can take uh, courses from other campuses. We have 
uh, campuses in Moscow, in Nizhny Novgorod, and Peru. Um, you can choose um, several courses online from these campuses, but um, please do it carefully um, because maybe they, uh, I don't know, may, they may not approve uh, joining uh, students from other campuses. You have to read the annotation carefully, the annotation of the course. Uh, one second, we have something in the chat. Okay, I uh, guess we have some issue with the sound. Um, okay, uh, next slide is also um, interface of the system. You just have to take the course uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, click submit an application. Please please choose courses only for the third and the fourth period. So the third and fourth uh, modules. Uh, these courses are only from St. Petersburg campus. Uh, what else do you need? You see credits, you see places left, uh, and of course they all are in English. So yes, you have to tick and submit an application. Uh, you can also uh, withdraw an application. Uh, for example, tomorrow you choose two courses. Next week, uh, you realize you don't want them. You can withdraw your applications. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. The most important thing is to choose the third and the fourth module. Uh, next slide. Uh, we have course selection period number two. We call it shopping period. Um, it will last two weeks in January, starting from January 9th. And during this course period, uh, course selection period, you can attend your current uh, courses uh, to see if maybe they're, still, uh, they're too difficult or too easy, or maybe you don't want them or you don't like them, any reason. You can drop them in these two weeks or you can add new ones. Um, you just have to find a new course in the course catalog and send us links. That is all. And please, um, if you drop any courses, please inform us because, um, well, there, there is a possibility that uh, at the end of semester, there may be uh, some problems with uh, trans transcript of records if, uh, if you don't inform us about dropping any courses. Uh, and also, uh, Russian uh, language course uh, is not in, in the system. Uh, we will add it in January after you uh, take uh, the entry test. So don't look for it in the course catalog or in the system. Uh, just let us know that you want to take a Russian language course and that is all. Uh, okay, next. Uh, our academic calendar, maybe you have already seen it uh, on our website. So we have uh, four modules. We have uh, winter break in January. Um, Basically, our uh, last working day will be December uh, 30th, mm -hmm. I guess, yes. And the first working day in January uh, January 9th. Uh, during these days, uh, we don't work. It's non-working state holidays. Uh, of course, uh, we're not in the office. We don't answer our email. But we have Telegram chat. Uh, many of you have joined us. Uh, so if you have any problems, emergencies regarding dormitory, uh, PCR test, uh, what else, uh, your arrival, something, um, you can text us in the chat and we will try to answer. Uh, well, maybe not at once, maybe not right, right away, but we will try to be uh, in, touch with, in you. touch with you, yes. 
and also we will have a spring break in May uh, because, well, yes, uh, we have uh, also state networking holidays in May. Uh, you will have two sessions, exam weeks, uh, at the end of each module, uh, as you can see, and uh, the semester will end on June uh, 30th. 30th. Um, and I want to let you know that um, um, officially you can stay uh, till uh, July 7. Um, it's based on our um, work, uh, well, internal, internal, yes, internal processes. So yes, the last day of semester is June 30th, but you can stay till July uh, 7. And I guess your visa will be extended uh, till that date too. So yeah, um, I guess that's all here. Mm -hmm. um, our grading system, we have a 10 point scale uh, system. Um, we also have uh, ESET system as I guess many universities use the system. You can, um, get more information about grading system by the link when you get our presentation. We strongly do not recommend to take more than 30 ECTs because it's a well, huge workload. Uh, and if you get, for example, three out of 10 for a course or less, uh, your course will not appear in trans transcript of records. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you fail, I don't know, several courses, your transcript will be kind of empty. So please uh, choose wisely your courses. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So here you can uh, find um, the forms of knowledge assessment. So um, I think mostly it's everywhere the same. Um, tests. Essays, presentations, uh, group projects, uh, by the way, a lot of group projects, and also exams. Uh, so from which um, points um, consist your grade? It consists from the attendance, from the work in the seminars, from the interim tests, and from the final exam. And uh, also it's very important, uh, the attendance is very important at the HST. So especially uh, if you study languages. it's. It is very important, especially if you take Russian language course. They demand uh, attendance from the first uh, class. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very important to go. Well, it may uh, influence your impact, your grade, your final grade. Okay. Uh, library, we of course have library and our exchange students have free uh, access uh, we will not talk a lot about it. You just uh, can proceed uh, to the link, uh, read everything you need to know and register if you want to use our libraries. Uh, transcript of records. Um, during the next week after your exam week, you will see your grades in Smart LMS. Um, after uh, the end of semester, um, well, in in a month, you will get your transcript of records, you and your home coordinator. But um, if you want, if you need, we can uh, issue a paper one before your departure from Saint Petersburg. And as you, as I tell you, uh, as I told you already, uh, if you get less than uh, a three out of ten for a course, it will not appear in your transcript. Uh, so be prepared. Um, okay, immigration procedures that is very important. Um, well, you had to uh, receive your invitation letters on the on that day. And I have a question because I haven't checked my email for the last several hours. Have you received an invitation letter, any of you? Have you checked your email? I have I have checked it, but uh, it haven't gotten to my email. Okay, so um, 
Um, so, so uh, how long it, uh, will it be delayed? Okay, um, because our Moscow colleagues, they are in charge of invitation letters. They applied uh, for them in Moscow. Uh, I will call them today after our meeting. Um, and so I will try to answer you uh, in Telegram chat, if it's okay for you. Because I know some of you didn't, uh, didn't join us, haven't joined us. Uh, so please, if you haven't done it yet, please join us in Telegram and I will let you know about invitation letters. Um, yes, uh, because they can be delayed a bit. Uh, it's not normal, but it happens. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, after you get an invitation, you have to apply for study visa as soon as possible uh, and well I guess it depends on your country but mostly it takes two weeks to get a visa and uh, as soon as you have your visa please uh, tell us that you that you received your visa and send us a scan or a good quality photo to our incoming SPB uh, address. Uh, and now, after the, only after that, you can book or buy your tickets because, well, we do not recommend do that, uh, doing that for getting your visa. Uh, after crossing our border, you will get an immigration card. Uh, this is a very important document. You have to keep immigration card always with you. Uh, try not to lose it until your departure from Russia. And uh, when um, you will, well, when you will get your immigration card, please indicate study as your purpose of stay. This is very important uh, for your visa extension to indicate study. Um, what else? Step five. Yes, you have to take a PCR test in three days upon arrival. Um, and send it and send the results to uh, our adaptation and support manager, Irene. Uh, even if it's um, January holidays and we are not in the office, still please uh, send it, uh, send the results uh, to this mail. We will check uh, your documents uh, when we're back at the office. Um, okay, so uh, you, I think you will be able to check into the dorm tree from January fifth, uh, but if you're uh, upon arrival, if you're staying in the hotel or hostel, and only after that you're checking into the dormitory, please ask the manager or the hotel to give you a registration paper. Uh, this is also important uh, for your uh, registration at the dormitory. If you're going to the dormitory straight from the airport, then it's okay. Um, January 9th is the first week. Um, excuse me, can, can I have okay. a, a question? Um, yo, if, if I mm, arrive at uh, a five, um, July, January uh, 5th, so can I go straight to the dorm? Yes, you uh, from January uh, 5th, you can go straight to the dormitory, absolutely. Uh, I mean, if um, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, if uh, for example, you have um, friends or family in Russia and you want to come to Russia and um, for the first few days you want to live with them, for example, in Moscow or in Saint Petersburg, I don't know. Um, and maybe with your friends you want to live in a hotel, uh, hostel. I don't know. Uh, in that case, you have to get registration paper. If you don't have um, any plans before dormitory, you can go straight to the dormitory, of course. They will be waiting for you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. No, it's okay. Uh, so January 9th uh, is our first working day. Uh, you will have to come to our office. If your PCR test is okay, of course. You will have to come to our office to meet, to sign papers, all procedure um, and then uh, to go to visa immigration office to our colleagues it's uh, in the same building uh, 
you have to take copies uh, of all cluster pages, like all pages with uh, any types of marks, including, of course, Russian visa, the entry stamp, uh, and a copy of your immigration card. And if you stayed in a hotel, then registration paper as well. Um, okay, if we, can we, no. do you think we will finish in 10 minutes? No? So, uh, we will try to maybe finish in 10 minutes, okay. Um, so basically, uh, and please don't uh, come to our office uh, not informing us. We will try to schedule you all, so we will have time for each of you. We will just text about that later. Okay, if you're um, if you're staying in the private apartment, then your landlord has to do the registration for you. But as far as I know, everyone here uh, requested a dormitory, so I guess um, we can skip that part. Yes, is there anyone who want to stay in the private apartment? No? Yeah, I guess no one. Uh, so, uh, your, the most important documents, your immigration card, your registration paper, of course, visa, what else? Um, uh, yes, so that's the most important documents. And if you fail to get registered in time, you will, unfortunately, your visa will not be extended. So you have to be in touch with us every time. I'm sorry, but you will stuck with us for the next six hours. What hours? Oh my yes. God, months. Yes. Um, and um, if you want to go somewhere, for example, to Moscow, if you want any uh, trips to other cities, you want to visit your friends, anything, and you change your uh, place of stay, please inform us every time. Because, um, it, well, it all depends on the registration. It is very important for your visa, for your registration. Uh, more information you can find actually in our on our website. This website has to be your guide in your exchange experience. Um, yeah, so we have. Oh, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, medical insurance. So you have to have medical insurance. It has to be valid for the entire period of your stay in Russia. We ask you to include repatriation as well, um, and you will not be able to receive uh, a Russian study visa or to extend your visa uh, without medical insurance. It is better to get it before your arrival, so there will be no risks or emergencies. Uh, but you can well, you can take your emergent, uh, your medical insurance for a short while and just get a new one here in Russia. Russian insurance. And please save the emergency number in your mobile telephone so you have a uh, possibility to call emergency anytime, uh, you know, even at night. Uh, what else do you need to know? Well, bank cards. Um, as you may know that MasterCard and Visa uh, cards do not operate on uh, the territory of Russia. Well, and it's kind of impossible to get money from abroad. Uh, well, we recommend to consult your bank. So there is a possibility from your bank to, uh, maybe they allow transactions to Russia. It's different for, for every country. Uh, and just in case, take uh, money in cash. Well, for a few, uh, for the first few weeks at least. Uh, as soon as you get to Russia, you can uh, apply for a Russian card. Uh, it's the easiest way to pay for taxi, food, deliveries, uh, even bus tickets. Um, yeah, I guess sure that's all. And for body, do you want to? About bodies. Tell about bodies. Yes, sure. Hello again. So, uh, since I'm the official curator of the body program by ESN HEC St. Petersburg, 
I will say a couple of words. Uh, I know at least, yeah, uh, my colleague is saying we have only five minutes, so I will be extra quick. So as far as I know, one of, at least one of you has applied for a buyer already, but uh, they will be getting in touch with you uh, a bit uh, later because right now they have to do a training session uh, with me uh, before uh, they are let out into the world to help you guys. So uh, please keep in mind that buddies are volunteer uh, students. They are not getting paid for this. Uh, so uh, respect each other's um, time and uh, nerves, you know. Uh, but uh, buddies uh, and the ESN in general are a great community, very helpful. And they can help you out with like getting a SIM card uh, or opening a bank card in a Russian bank. Um, if you have any questions regarding visa registration, etc., please address them to either our visa immigration office, Valeria, or also me. Uh, buddies uh, are only students and they may give you uh, not very accurate answers. So it's better to go straight to us. Uh, we also have a an emergency uh, mobile phone. Uh, at the other end of the line is me. Um, this number is working 24-7, but I'm only human, but I do my very best to answer it uh, as soon as I uh, hear a call. Uh, Telegram, WhatsApp, or SMS is also available. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's about it. So uh, if you, I guess, yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, we have three minutes left. If you have any questions, we can uh, start the, uh, I don't know, conference, the meeting again. Well, if you have any questions. If you have any questions later, like in the evening, you can just text in the Telegram or, I don't know, send an email tomorrow as as you wish. So? Um, uh, uh, earlier, I just uh send a request for the courses syllabus so uh, uh how long will it take to for me to have it so, so i can have the you know the syllabus and the exception uh in my university to study that course in has uh, hse you know um, syllabuses. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me start with the conference again because there is um, something with the sound. Uh, uh, so everyone, can you please uh, enter this conference one again, please? Uh, I will end it now.